All right, welcome to another tutorial in SolidWorks. In this, uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show how to manually cut an M8 by 1.25 thread instead of using the uh, built-in tool that SolidWorks does it. The reason I'm showing how to manually cut it is because I'm going to make the tolerances a little bit looser because whenever I 3D print threads, when I use the SolidWorks tool, I have a hard time putting them together. Because the SolidWorks tool uh, assumes that you are cutting them out of steel and you're going to get uh, very tight tolerances. So when you 3D print, your tolerances are not as good. So this way uh, is guaranteed to get you the threads to uh, mate with one another a lot better. So I'm going to use the, for the external thread major diameter, I'm going to use the minimum dimension instead of the maximum dimension. As you see here, it's 7.76. And for the internal thread minor diameter, I'm going to use the maximum dimension, 6.91. So when I put the threads together, you'll get the most uh, clearance when I uh, print them. Okay, we start with our metric. Uh, screw. First thing we do is draw a circle, or actually, first thing we need to do is define our variables. So the external major thread diameter, and uh, as discussed earlier, we use the minimum of the tolerance instead of the maximum. So we get the most space, so that when we're 3D printing our threads, they fit with one another. Tolerances were made for. Uh, cutting screws out of out of uh, steel so it's you, you get much better tolerances than when you're 3d printing the pitch is 1.25 and the thread radius is the height divided by six the height is 0.866 times the pitch uh, there's our major diameter with a circle and we extrude it to whatever dimension we like next we create a chamfer uh, of the edge that we're going to cut so we just use 0.75 millimeters and now we need to create a helical spiral a helical spiral you have to define a sketch plane with a circle and the circle again is the dimension of our major diameter and we define the height and the pitch of the spiral Height, I just selected 14, anything less than the extrusion length. And next, we create a sketch of the profile, uh, being careful to select the right plane where it will meet our helix. Uh, we need a center line, of course, so we can do some dimensioning. And the profile is simply a triangle. Our triangle is uh, pointing inward for the screws and outward for the nut. And then we need a, a line that's horizontal connecting our triangle to define it properly and make it for construction. And our thread angle is 60 degrees and the thread diameter is the external thread diameter, the major. And we just define this dimension 0.5 away from the part. And this is our pitch. And I found that you need to just make it a little bit smaller than the actual pitch so it'll cut in SolidWorks. I'm not sure why. And then we define our fillet or our thread radius here. And then we grab that dimension and set it equal to our thread radius parameter defined in equations. And the last step is to create a helical cut or a swept cut. Swept cut and we select the profile and the path. Path is the helix and the profile is our thread profile. And that's it for the metric screw. Uh, we're going to need a, a hex head on the top, so we'll just draw a quick polygon, six-sided polygon for the hex head, and just set it to whatever dimension fits your wrench. 
let's see, I said it equal to 9, I think, yeah, 9. And extrude it for 5 millimeters. Okay, 5 millimeters will work. And that's your screw. Next, we're going to do the nut. Uh, define those variables in the equations, the internal thread minor diameter. Here we're going to go to the maximum dimension. So we can uh, print these in 3D and they'll fit one another. Pitch is 1.25. The height is the pitch times 0.866. And the thread radius is the height divided by 6. So those are our parameters. And now we're ready to model it the nut. So we select the plane. The nut is basically a circle and a six-sided polygon. Uh, let's make that horizontal. Yeah, good. Okay. Now this di circular dimension is the internal thread minor diameter, the maximum dimension again. And this is whatever dimension will fit your hex. I use nine millimeter. And now we need to extrude this to 5 millimeter and cut some chamfers on each end before we cut our thread. And you can use this technique not just to cut metric size thread, you can use it to cut any thread. You just need to define the profile and the helix the path in this way. So again it asks us for the circle of the helix. We set that equal to the internal thread minor diameter. And the pitch was set previously 1.25. We make the height anything longer than our extrusion length which is 5 so we select 8. And now we create the profile the thread profile, being careful that we select a plane that's going to intersect with the uh, helix created previously. Now the, here the triangle is pointing outward instead of inward as what as was as is the case with the metric thread or the metric screw. Okay, I need to make that. Uh, Vertical. Okay, I need to define my center line better. Set it coincident to the origin. And now I can get a, a diameter dimension from the center line. Diameter dimension, of course, is going to be the internal thread minor diameter. And we set that thread angle to 60 degrees. And the pitch again. I subtract off 0 0.005 in order to get the cut. For some reason, SolidWorks wasn't letting me cut if I set it exactly at 1.25 for the pitch. And just to make sure that it's fully defined, I set it equal to 0.5 away from the part. And now I can uh, mention the fillet which is equal simply to the thread radius. And now we're ready to do the swept cut. So the swept cut, again, the profile is the thread profile, and the path is our helix. And then we accept it and hide the spiral so we can see the thread better. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.